Watching Miss Asia Pacific International 2019 live from Newport Performing Arts Theater Resorts World Manila. Now, before we proceed, let me take this time to acknowledge the respected people behind Miss Asia Pacific International. That's right. It's a daunting task to take over five decades worth of pageant tradition. But if there's anyone who can do this, it's these good men and exceptional women. Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Asia Pacific International Board of Directors. We have with us the Corporate Secretary, Attorney Edward Castaneda. Mr. Rani Hoflina. And the director, Mr. Jefferson Tan. We also have the chairman of the board, Mr. Joseph Tan, and the very beautiful and able president of Miss Asia Pacific International, Ms. Jacqueline Tanzes. Thank you to our board of directors for delighting us with your company and your congratulations. Now, Bobby, coming up is definitely one of my most favorite parts of any pageant. It's our girls' time to shine wearing wonderfully made designer pieces which they bought all the way from their respective countries. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Miss Asia Pacific International 2019 Top 25 slaying it in their breathtaking evening gowns. <laughs> language. This is to give them better opportunities as they stay in Germany. Romania. Miss Romania plans to put up a foundation that seeks to help poor people in their country for her access to quality education is a ticket for better future. Dominican Republic. Miss Dominican Republic loves children. That's why she chose to work for a foundation that organizes outreach programs for the less fortunate kids in their country. Cameroon. Miss Cameroon sports organizations that advocate acceptance and inclusivity regardless of our skin color. She even helped to put up a pageant for being albinos in their country to make people realize that you can be beautiful no matter what type of skin you possess. Canada. Miss Canada is an ambassador of mental health for the youth and Parents Association of Marca, a nonprofit organization in her town. She is also a vocal advocate of female empowerment among the youth. Philippines. Miss Philippines is an aspiring lawyer who is motivated to bring justice for the marginalized sector of our country. Belgium. Belgium. 
Miss Belgium's motto in life is be brave, be you. Something that she teaches whenever she would go to schools for her anti-bullying campaign. New Zealand. Miss New Zealand loves being involved in charity fundraising programs. Her main advocacy is education for the poor children of New Zealand and the Philippines. Portugal. Miss Portugal is committed to the Red Cross Youth Program which educates the community towards social transformation. Mexico. Miss Mexico works for I Am Beautiful Foundation, a group that helps women with cancer. They give financial support as well as makeup classes to boost the patient's self-esteem. Malaysia. Miss Malaysia is an advocate of environmental conservation. She has been conducting social community events to spread awareness against single-use plastic. Honduras. Miss Honduras went through a hard time when she moved to the U.S. when she was 19, but through her determination, she was able to enter college. Italy. Miss Italy is a vocal advocate of perseverance to commit success. She's always believed that determination and accepting mistakes is the main weapon to fight hardships and struggles in life. Namibia. Miss Namibia is into helping women and children in their country. She would join activities such as fundraisings to provide for their beneficiaries. Peru. Miss Peru is working in an organization that takes care of the environment and helps poor children by giving them English classes. She wants the ch kids in her community to have equal opportunities. Spain. Miss Spain's favorite place is the island of Curacao because this was the last place she traveled with her grandfather. Colombia. Miss Colombia is an advocate of sports for the less fortunate children. She has a project called a Sport for a Dream Foundation for less privileged children in Colombia. It gives children access to free trainings of various sports programs. Netherlands. Miss Netherlands advocates women empowerment. She participates in anti discrimination campaigns and wishes to eradicate harassment to women in her country. Latvia. Miss Latvia joined the pageant to gain new experience. She is grateful to represent her country. Mm -hmm. 
Brasil. Miss Brazil works in a hospital and loves to help everyone that she can. For her, the biggest victory in life is the experience you get each day. Nigeria. Miss Nigeria is currently taking up a degree in business administration. She works as a banquet server on weekdays and a dance coach on weekends. She believes that education is a very important tool to reach her dreams. That's why she's a proud working student. Costa Rica. Miss Costa Rica works for a foundation that helps children from different walks of life. She is a psychologist by profession and she provides free psychological therapy. Australia. Miss Australia was born and raised in a multicultural household by her Filipino mother and Scottish father. That is the reason why at a young age, she was taught to embrace diversity and be welcoming to every individual, regardless of race, gender, and economic status. South Africa. Miss South Africa describes herself as God's ambassador. She's an advocate of education for talented children in her country. Thailand. Miss Thailand is a believer that smiling is a pretty universal indicator of happiness among humans, and smiling also changes how you view the world. And now, Joey, we face another tense moment of tonight's program as we announce our top 10. Our results have been tabulated by the University of Perpetual Help and System Delta and audited by Reyes Tacontong and company. Right now, I'd like to call on Mr. Roman Felipe Reyes for the results. Hello, sir. 